We now know how beloved Howard County teacher Laura Wallen died. Police confirmed tonight she was shot. Investigators say her longtime boyfriend was living a double life and after dumping her body, put on an act tearfully pleading for her return in front of Wallen's parents. The investigation spans three Maryland cities. WJZ investigator Mike Halgren stays on this heartbreaking story from district court in Montgomery County where the suspect faced a judge. Prosecutors say Tyler Tessier got entangled in a love triangle and a web of lies. He is a monster and he is a liar. Mark Wallen now says his wife was shaking as she sat next to their pregnant daughter's accused killer, Tyler Tessier. They were playing along during a press conference, knowing police already thought Tessier was the murderer. It defies description. The, the awfulness and the, the horror that we have been put through on this. I think leading up to leading up to the weekend that she's missing, I mean I don't I don't believe anybody has any uh, inclination to think that something was wrong. Or... On Monday, Tessier pleaded for Laura to come home. Prosecutors now say more than a week earlier he lured her to his friend's farm in Damascus and killed her. Critical evidence, a text message she sent to her sister. Tyler has me on an adventure in the country. Don't know why I'm here, but it's for something. Really? Where are you? Her sister asked. I'm waiting in a field. She then sent a picture of the spot where detectives found her body in a shallow grave. We did get the medical examiner's report from the autopsy today, and um, we found that uh, Laura had been shot in the back of the head. He lied to my face. A judge denied Tessier bond. Charging documents lay out a possible motive, revealing Tessier was engaged to another woman and hid that from Wallen, whom he'd also promised to marry. Hug your kids every day because nothing is guaranteed. Crisis teams are on hand at Wild Lake High School, where students have covered Wallen's classroom door with messages of love. I have to give a, a, a personal um, message to our students and, and let them know how proud I am of them. They, um, they helped us as adults really kind of find a, a small measure of peace. The state's attorney says Tessier acted alone and there are no plans to charge him for the murder of the unborn child. At District Court in Rockville, Mike Helgren, WJZ Eyewitness News. And tonight, Laura Wallen students continue to mourn her tragic death. A vigil was held this evening at Murray Hill Middle School in Laurel, where she used to teach. Hundreds attended, lighting candles and leaving flowers and heartfelt messages.